Remember, full confidence when people call you, I have a buyer. That's what the name of the game is, staying busy. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Ricky Caroo! He is an investor, a speaker, and soon to be remembered, in my opinion, as a legend in the industry. The cool thing about what he was doing was he was documenting everything. Like he would post his calls, his work he was putting in, the strategies, he was sharing everything. He said, let me come by and just see what you got going on and see if there's some value I can bring, something I can do to help you sell it on your own. If we say, hey, I'm working with buyers in my database, you're just proving a point. But anyway, um, listen, we're all here competing with each other, healthy competition to see who gets the most listings. Let's do, let's compete. What we have to do is figure out what's going on here and what we can do to help them. When it naturally fits in, it works great. When you try to force it, then it gets weird. Literally all in the head, it's the exact same people that you say the exact same thing to. The way I did it was, is I called more people in a week than people called all year because they're doing all the marketing stuff. And here we are 30 days later and he listed, he listed one, put it on the market yesterday. And he said, I want to meet with you next week about these other two houses I'm fixing to put on the market about a game plan for those. So think about that for a second. He pursued yeah. someone who was not interested in an agent already done deals. And now he's got one working on two more listings from that guy. It just goes to show you guys the relationships over transactions mentality Right. He said, he said, let me come by and just see what you got going on and see if there's some value I can bring, something I can do to help you sell it on your own. Right. He's just trying to build his name, build his brand. So when an agent calls you, you don't say I'm working with a bunch of buyers. I have buyers in my database. Say I got a buyer for that property. Okay. And you say, I need an asking price, a commission rate. You're going to pay me if I sell it and pictures of the property. When, how, fa how fast can you get that to me? Put them to work. Okay. They're calling you, trying to call right. you out for having a buyer. Put them, put it back on them. Yeah. S send me the information, right? As soon as you see me asking price commission, you're going to pay me as the buyer's agent and pictures of the property. Then let me look at that and see what I think. And then I'll come take a look at the property and see if it might be a good fit for my buyer. Okay. Put it on them and see if they come back. Right. I, I've, I've, I've had hundreds of agents call me like that. And guess what? Not a single one of them send me an asking price, commission rate, or phone or, or pictures. You know why? Because they're right. lazy. They were just trying to mess with me and act like whatever. No. Yeah. I got a buyer. Get get to work. Send me the stuff so I can mm -hmm. get to work on this. You'll never hear from yeah. them. And, and if you do, awesome. Let's pursue it and see if it's a good deal for a possible buyer we might have. If we say, hey, I'm working with buyers in my database, you're just proving their point that you didn't actually have a buyer. And they're like, oh, OK, yeah, I'm going to tell my client that you're full of shit is what they're going to was what they're going to do. Right. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember, remember, full confidence when people call you. I have a buyer. Good to see. You. I'm going to make some live calls today. Um, I'm going to screen share my um, the Red X and kind of show you guys a little bit of the back end getting set up and everything. Uh, so we're going to do that. I'm going to hit the triple line. I'm going to, I plan on trying to have like maybe three, four conversations. That way I leave a little bit of time at the end for some Q and a, a Q and a, um, put in the comments right now as I, um, get into a few things before I do that. And let me know if you want me to do million dollar and up expires. Cause I already have that filter in my, um, but anyway, um, listen, we're all here competing with each other, healthy competition to see who gets the most listings. Let's do, let's compete. Let's go out here and get listings. Let's stir the pot. Let's make it happen. Let's stay busy. That's what the name of the game is. Staying busy. You heard what I was saying. Are you going to re relist it with this other agent? How did that go? Um, blah, blah, blah. So it just depends. Every, for me, it's, it's all, every conversation is a little different, but I'm, my wheels are turning to like, understand the situation as much as possible to figure out where do I insert myself into the situation, right? What we have to do is figure out what's going on here and what we can do to help them, you know, and then you figure out what that means per situation. The setting the appointment or whatever just comes naturally because that's like the next step in the process. You know, once you realize that that is the next step, you know what I'm saying?
when yeah. it naturally here's the thing when it naturally fits in it works great when you try to force it then it gets weird hey ricky uh ms harrison with uh, exp in dallas i have a real quick question um how are you marking the calls so that uh, you know to not call them back or they're done or whatever you can say not interested if you're not going to call them back you can mark them not interested in in the uh disposition so if you want to call the voicemails back right like say you called 9 to 12 on a tuesday and then thursday afternoon you want to hit them at a different time of day to see if the voicemail people actually answer you can just go to that same list hit dial and hit voicemails to call all the people up and you can leave another voicemail hey i left you a voicemail tuesday right and then maybe you get some of those people to answer but you can play around with that and call this back and like filter out really quickly based on how you disposition them it's really cool hey ricky Hey, I, I survived my first day of calling Fisbos and I am here to tell the tale. So you, I just you, wanted uh, to say some miracles. I was with Shane. Yeah. Yeah. How'd it go? Um, well, I got one guy who wanted me to send my resume so you could see my picture. So, um, but apart from that, it went pretty good. I got about three or four people on the phone. I had a woman who yelled at me and then sent me a text to apologize. So <laughs> don't you love it? <laughs> she said, I'm so sorry. You're like the 5,000th agent who's called it. But um, but I didn't get any appointments yet. I got an email address, but it was just I felt so much better by the end of the morning than this than the first, beginning of the morning because it was I was super stressed. And I've done Red X before. I just I just hate making the calls. It's really hard for me to start doing it. But once I started, I was okay. What uh What do you think had you worried about the calls? I just never liked doing them. I've never. Like doing, never. You think you, I just just got the, really... you think you just had the wrong um, perspective on the calls, like in your mind, like you were thinking about, you were thinking it was something that it's really not. Hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, it was yeah. just, uh, it was just. I've never had a coach who's helped me kind of talk me through. It. Like Shane was on the other end of the, you know, in my ear. So yeah. it was just so much easier having someone there just to kind of hold my hand until I get better at it. I mean, I've been doing real estate for a long time, and I call all the time. But I call people who've called me first through ads or whatever. I've never kind of done the FISBOs yeah. or the expires or anything. So this was really hard for me to do, but yeah. I did it. <laughs> I survived. So. Oh, yeah. Like, um, it, it's, <laughs> I'm telling you, you ain't lived if you ain't made some calls. It is just absolute bliss. And I mean, listen, listen guys, the bottom line here with all this is that you got to do it anyway. You know, you said that you 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 call people that had already called yours, reaching out to you, right? Mm -hmm. You're on you're on the phone with people. You're talking to them. I call all the time. I yeah, just yeah, but I understand. They, they've always kind of yeah, it's but, kind but of warm to me. My but, perspective yeah. is that those are the exact same people that I called today, and I could literally pretend like they called me first if that's what I need to tell myself, and I would crush it. Yeah, right? it's, all my, it's all in the head. It's all my. It head. is all in the head, <laughs> literally all in the head. It's the exact same people that you say the exact same thing to. Mm -hmm. It's nuts. It's like, hi, here I am. This is who I. This is what I do. I'm here to help you. What you got? That's yeah. it. Every single time, no matter what the lead is, there's no difference in leads, guys. There's no good leads, bad leads. Um, these leads were they called me first. These leads are you know mean. There's no such thing. It's all the same boat. Have you ever called a lead, Lisa? that called you first that was mean to you? I don't know if I did. Oh, yes, I have. I okay. Have. Yeah, the ones oh, ding, 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 yeah. ding, 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 You can't get away from it. Mm -hmm. Even the people that called you don't know who you are and get mad at you. Exactly. So you might as well settle in and realize that the fastest, the way that you outpace every agent is to understand that it's all about conversations. Okay. And whoever has the most wins. So let's just have them right now. What am I doing wasting time waiting on people to call me or sending out marketing, waiting on leads to come in or, or open house? Why am I doing all this? It all comes back to conversations anyway. Mm -hmm. So I want to I wanna be the best. I want to sell more than everybody in my market. I want to be the number one agent in my market. So how do I do that? Well, the way I did it was, is I called more people in a week than people called all year because they're doing all the marketing stuff and getting all the leads trickling in. And they look like they're busy, right? Meanwhile, while they call 200 people in a year, I call 200 people in a week. I literally did a week of their work, a year of their work in a week. 
That's why I was the number one agent in my market because I understood this hack. This is a hack, guys. It's like you go back door. You don't have to do any marketing. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You don't have to do any of that. We've got everything right here. All the leads, bam, you just call them. Call them, have fun. See what they want to do. They get mad at you, you laugh at them. Because it is hilarious. Because guess what? That's not who they are. That's just the front they're putting on. Because they're scared. Oh, no, it's somebody I don't know. Like I, that's, that's their crocodile brain getting, getting in that flight or fight uh, mentality. All right. When that, when that, when people get mad at you, I can't believe this is the 15th agent to call me. You guys need to keep calling, take my number off your list and go to hell. You know what they're telling you? They're saying, hi, you sound like a really nice young man. You know what? I'm not really interested right this second. I might be later, but right now I'm just quite, not quite interested. I don't really have a whole lot of time to talk to you. So I got to go. All right. We'll see you later. That's what they're really saying. But the way they're communicating it is just backwards, right? They're, they're, they're not great communicators, let's just say. They don't do this for a living like we do. Yeah, answer a couple of these questions in the, uh, in the chat, and then we'll get up out of here. Let's see, what's your opinion, uh, opinion on EDDM? I'm guessing you're EDDM. I, somebody tell me what that is. I'm thinking it means earnest money, but I don't think it, it does. It's great every call. door direct mail. What's up? Every door direct mail. By the yeah, office. I'm not. I listen like around your just listed to just sold, followed by phone calls. Yes, to do it on an ongoing basis in today's world, it's just not real effective. You know, there's too much stuff happening social media, email. Would I ask who their friend agent is? And yes, I would ask who the friend agent is in that conversation. Yes, I would. Oh, who is it? I thought I thought you knew who it was, Denise. I would have said, yes, who's, who's your friend? I may know him, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. I'm doing direct mail, but it's in addition to the calls and the handwritten letters. Yeah. I, it wouldn't be something I did. But everybody has to do their thing. You know, everybody, everything works. If you're following up with phone calls, it's going to work. If you don't follow up with phone calls, it ain't going to work. All right. Cool, guys. Enjoyed it. Hope you guys got a lot out of this. Shane's going to be in here teaching us for sell by owner stuff next Monday. And then I'll be back the following Monday. Um, and I plan on making some more calls. So um, I don't know who I'll call or, or what what will be going on, but I plan on making some more calls then. So we'll kind of pick it up with that when I get back with some more calls. And then after that will be February. We'll be moving into the February challenge. So be sure you guys are hitting me up on DMs on the Gold Bar platform when you get listings. So I could put you guys in on the leaderboard. Um, we've got a Gold Bar ticket. Uh, Gold Bar Live, uh, Ryan Serhant, myself, Josh Altman, Juan, everybody, and also 10X Rule books. I'm going to sign for you guys for the top three people. All right. Cool. Hey. Yes. Yes. I'm excited. You guys go crush it. Let me know what I could do to help. Thank you guys. See ya.